Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with a terrific option for entry level home computing. I recently spent a month with the Lenovo C260. And while I know many of the folks who watch my YouTube channel are tech savvy people looking for more power user solutions, Lenovo has delivered something really interesting with this all in one PC. The specs on my review unit are unlikely to light up much desire these days. A 19 inch touchscreen display with the resolution of 1600 by 900 is powered by an Intel Pentium processor and four gigabytes of RAM. You'll find decent stereo speakers built into the front face and a 500 gig hard drive should be ample storage for its target market. Street price with a Celeron processor starts at just $320 and my review configuration will sell for around $399. On the rear, you'll find a pair of USB 2 ports, HDMI output, and an ethernet jack. I'm really happy to see that as consumers will have the option of using either wired or wireless connections for internet access. On the side of the computer, you'll find a single USB 3 port, a combo memory card slot, and separate headphone and mic ports. In the box, you'll find a wired keyboard and mouse. I actually like Lenovo's wired peripherals better than their wireless gear. The keyboard is a bit more spread out and I find I type with fewer errors. Also, while the mouse is boring, I think I prefer the more conventional shape over their more angular wireless mouse. The C260 has a decently competent 720p webcam. It should do you just fine for things like video calls or taking Skype calls, video chat, stuff like that. Though I do find that it has a pretty nasty tendency to jump frame, so I don't know if it would be the best solution for those of you who are looking at vlogging or podcast style applications. Like so many other points I've covered in this review, however, considering the price point of the entire system, the webcam still punches above its weight. Windows 8 Point one does a reasonably good job of utilizing the entry-level hardware here, and general UI performance is actually pretty snappy, with only the occasional lag on scrolling elements. While no one would consider this to be a gaming system, Windows apps ran surprisingly well. I haven't used a processor labeled Pentium since the Pentium 3 days, but this new low power chip made handy work of games like Halo Spartan Assault. Lenovo also includes a couple games which can make use of the touchscreen like this Sudoku game, but funnily, these are not Windows apps as they are programs which actually run on the desktop. Multimedia playback was also surprisingly good. We of course have a speaker review for you to hear the playback on the built-in speakers, but we use a Blu-ray quality rip of the movie in our test, and the C260 played through that high bitrate video without a single stutter. The system is obviously not a powerhouse, but I did run into some performance issues with the pre-installed McAfee protection software. On initial setup, I ran into a conflict with Lenovo's system scan and McAfee trying to run at the same time, which absolutely destroyed performance. And you could hear the poor little hard drive spin spinning away trying to make it through both scans, which eventually locked up the computer. At no point could I get McAfee to use less than about a quarter of the CPU resources either. Uninstalling it and using Windows Defender made for a smoother experience. But of course, that's a decision best left to the person who will need to provide tech support for this computer. Happily for some, there's also a DVD drive built into the case. That really stands as a legacy device these days. For the month that I used the C260, I I think I only opened it twice, once to see that it was there and once to shoot this video. My only other criticism might be the adjustable hinge and tripod legs, making this a bit more of an easel than other all-in-ones I've used in the past. It takes up a bit of space, making sure you have it stable, and that makes it just a little bit harder to elevate the system above table level. You just need a little bit more surface area. After using touchscreen laptops, I've really come to embrace a hybrid use style with Windows 8. Fine point control still requires a mouse or a stylus, but for most other things, I'm pretty comfortable just touching the screen. The C260 lived pretty much in our dining room and made for a handy terminal to browse the web, share on social media, and to stream video while cooking in the kitchen. Considering that TVs this size with built-in DVD players often come in around $200 and feature lower resolution screens, Lenovo offers up a terrific value proposition here. Windows built its dominance on the backs of low-cost systems, and that hasn't been explored as much with Windows 8 as the OS becomes much more enjoyable to use with a touchscreen. Now you can pick up a competent all-in-one system for around the price you might pay for a mid-range tablet. The C260 does really well across a variety of demographics. As a simple computer for young kids or older family members, a space-saving system for a student bedroom, or as a companion system for those who already have more powerful computers for work. I've said it before that Lenovo is doing a terrific job of embracing Windows 8, and now, 
they have an excellent entry-level system for budget shoppers. I'll of course leave links below this video if you want more info on the C260. As always folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, sharing my videos. You guys have been talking up a storm on social media and I cannot thank you enough for bringing more people to come share all this tech goodness with. Hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you all on the next review.